Yo, what is up guys? It's Bangrub Dope. Back with another video. A different kind of video, you know? Cause why not? I just get tired of playing Star Wars for a little bit. So here we are on My Hero Ultra Rumble. It's a pretty alright game, you know. It's not the best, it's not the worst. Definitely play better. It's probably like if there is five battle royales, it's probably five. I don't know, five out of five, you know. It is what it is. It's, it's not bad. I, it's okay. It's a good, solid D-plus game right here. Got a little... It's a little wonky, I ain't gonna lie. Characters are massively unbalanced, I'd say. I'd say there are definitely characters that are better than others in this game. It, it's just a whole bunch of mess. It's, it's, a, it's a game made by Bandai, you know. You know when a game is made by Bandai. I keep looking at my face. You know when the game is made by Bandai. Don't even try to cap. Don't even try to cope. You know when the game is made by Bandai. And this one is no, this is no exception. Bandai is the publisher of this game. And I'll be honest, Bandai makes a whole bunch of trash. And this game is near trash tier. But it's a game I can play with one of my boys. So we have fun regardless of what. And I play it because I'm good at it. It's not hard to be good at this game. So, I don't have a long intro. But what is this video for? This video is to talk about how you can be better at this game. Okay, this is an easy game. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> it doesn't take much to be good. It, it just doesn't. It takes simple game awareness to be good at this game. My glasses are crooked. My glasses are broken, so they're crooked, bro. Just, just forget it. They're broken. They get the job done. But this game requires simple awareness. So one, if you'll see in the footage right now, what are me and my team landed? We landed over at this. Is this the collapse zone or is this? One of the though, landslide zone. And so, just an immediate tip when you're playing the game, if you land in an area where there are like these little people that are on the ground that you can heal, go ahead and heal them up because you can get revive cards. And you need three revive cards, three, where the camera? You need three revive cards in order to pick somebody up. So, if you ever find yourself in a place where there are enemies or where there are people to heal, heal them. And I would just suggest landing landslide zone. <clears throat> Every now and then you might have to fight, but it's a good place to land. You get a decent amount of loot, and you get revived cards. It has the most revived cards out of all the places on the map. So in my opinion, it's, probably, it's like the best place to land overall, in my opinion. Now, now that we got the landing situation out, now let's get into actual gameplay. So, like I said, this game isn't that hard to play. It is just aim and shoot. You don't have to worry about recoil. Or anything like that. It's just, it's, it's just, a, it's a, a generally scrappy anime battle royale. It's exactly what you would think. So if you haven't played the game, or even if you do play the game, it's really told, actual gameplay mechanic wise, it doesn't require that much. It's very simple and very easy to play. The difficult part is when you don't know the fundamentals of how to play a battle royale correctly. That's where you might suffer. This is killing me. So, if you're not playing battle royale correctly, you may struggle. And when I say correctly, meaning there are just things that you should do, there are fights you should take, and there are things you should be aware of when you're fighting generally. So, <clears throat> first things first. And just so you guys know, this is a gold match right here that's, that's being played. It was very, very difficult. There was a whole bunch of stuff that going on, but I hope you guys enjoy the result of this match. But, um, <clears throat> first things first. You don't have to fight everything. Obviously, in all battle royales, you have the people that are super aggro and love to get kills. I am one of them. I'll tell you that right now. I love to fight in battle royales. I love to get kills. It's fun. Fight. That's the only point of playing. Other than that, I'm wasting time. Why else am I playing? It just I'm not playing it just to sit here and look at people fight. I can't even fight, so I fight a lot. But you will find quickly that in this game, it, which is slightly unlike others, other games, yes, there are third parties. But the third parties in this game quickly can turn into four teams just destroying you. And there's nothing you can do about it sometimes. Sometimes if you get caught in a certain way, there's literally nothing you can do after a while to get out but die. People are so persistent in getting a kill, it is insane. Once somebody is locked on to you, they are like a bloodhound. They will chase you across the entire map. They will risk dying to make sure that you are not in this game anymore. 
That's how persistent people are. I I do that. I can't even act like I I will do the same thing. If I see somebody and they're low and I can I keep visuals on them, oh they're getting got. I will follow you to your team to kill you. Kill you and then run away if I can. That is how one sided and one minded a lot of people are in this game. But it does come to a cost. So, if you ever find yourself fighting, it's okay to run. If you are losing the fight, run. If there are more than one team in the area, run. You do not have to fight everything, people. Running is okay. Now, if your team is in a team fight and it has not been communicated that you are running, stay in the area and heal. But do not run across the map while your team is in a fight. It, it doesn't ever work well. Really for anyone. On your team, anyway. Unless you're really, like, just really told, unless you're built like that and you know you can solo, don't separate yourself from your team and then expect to be able to round about and win the game. Don't expect that. Ne always think the worst. Always think that you can't revive your teammates, you can't get your teammates revive cards, and assume that everybody in the lobby is better than you. When you think of those two things, when you, when you think like that, you'll play a lot more safe. It, it's just, it just works better that way. Another one. Land with your team. Period. It doesn't matter if you think that you have the best landing spot and the other two people on your team aren't landing there, land with your team. You are a liability when you decide that you want to land away from your team, whether it is your teammates dying first or you dying first. No matter what, you are at fault for that, period. When you decide that you're going to land by yourself and you and or your team dies, it's your fault. Because one, if you land by yourself and you are landing in a team of three and you die, it is your fault because you fought a one on three because you decided to land against you with your team. And if your teammates die, once again, it is still your fault because you decided to land away from your team, putting them in a two on three situation and they could have won the fight if that one person, extra teammate was just there. So land with your team unless you just are perfectly fine with being the fault to why your teammates are always dying. Is that fair? I think that's fair. So, do tread with caution all the I want to be a solo and ignore my teammate type players. It, 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 it's all across all battle royales. Just remember, you are the cause of people not enjoying the game. It's because you are playing very selfishly. And you're not playing a single player game. You're playing a multiplayer game where other people are playing. So, land with your team. So let's just go ahead and recap. Land with your team, get revive card, and run. And last things last, guys, ranged characters are cracked right now. Melee type characters are good. You can run them. If you're good enough, you can run them. They work well. But, Bakugo, Todoroki, Mount Lady, All Might, and Deku. I might have said Deku twice. Anybody that can shoot in is just generally on a baseline better than people that can fight. Every other character that has a melee based attack versus a person who has a blaster is just fundamentally worse in this kind of game. Aim assist is high. So you will get hit most of the time. The fact that they can check bushes from a distance without having to get close is an immediate advantage whereas if you're a melee character you have to get in somebody's face to check a bush. They don't have to do that. They can check a bush from a distance and down you when you're trying to heal. While as if somebody's a, a melee character, they have to run all the way up to that bush and then hit you. And you might get the heal off by the time they make it there. So you see my point? And then they just do so much damage and the amount of ammo you have and the reload speed. There are just so many benefits to being a ranged character. As you can see in this play, gameplay, I'm playing a ranged character. And truth be told, do not give in to the people that say like, oh, you playing your ranged character, you're the problem. No, do not be foolish, people. Don't be baited into this this weird complex of you play range so you're bad at the game do not get baited in that because no matter what they want to say about you the majority of the lobby will have blast slash range type characters and if you decide i'm gonna play that dude um that, that hardens himself because you because somebody on twitter said that you are, you're bad because you play range you're gonna have a bad time because you're gonna keep playing more bakugos more Todorokis and more Dekus 
that are going to obliterate you from long range and mid range, especially when they're remotely decent. So don't get baited like that. Play the range characters. If you're learning and you want to get better, play them. They help. They're great solo queue characters, like especially if you're solo queuing. Like me and my friend were duoing this entire time. So I'm going to run him. We don't have a third. So therefore, I will always run a range character because we do not have a third. And I'm putting myself at a disadvantage to run a different kind of character when we're so, when we're duo queuing in a gold rank match. I mean, the matchmaking is terrible. Sometimes it's really easy and sometimes it's extremely hard. But more often than not, it's super difficult. And I'm getting paired against just some very, very great players. And it's just like, what am I supposed to do? So, just be smart. The goal of this video is to let you guys know to be smart. Play smart. You don't have to fight everything you see. Just because you see people fighting does not mean you have to take a shot and expose your position. I'm sure you can get the kill, but if you can't get away, if you know you have a problem with getting away and you can't exit fights, don't start a fight. I'll start fights because I know I can get away for most of the part. Every now and then I might get caught, but for the most part, I'm very decent at running away. But other times, there are just people that are better than me and I will get caught. And like I said, and sometimes it's not even a skill thing, it's just a way range characters work you can get clapped so fast and you don't realize that's just that's a very big thing the response time you have in this game is shorter than other games and you can die like that and there's nothing you can do about it so it's not even on you it's just the fact that the way the game is balanced that some fights you cannot take because if you take them you will die almost immediately and there's nothing you can do about it doesn't matter how good you're doesn't matter your reaction time some of these fights you cannot take so so all that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found this somewhat kind of useful. I hope this helps you play the game better. Remember, run if you need to run. Get those revive cards. You don't have to fight everything, guys. And land with your team. And play ranged characters. Like I said, do not get baited into not playing ranged characters. Just do those couple things, and I promise you, you will have such a, a way better time. So, just practice. Just play the game. Learn the characters. Learn what everybody does. Yeah, learn your strengths and weakness. Figure out what you're good at doing, what you're not good at doing. And I, I promise you the game will become a lot better and a lot easier when you know your weaknesses and as well as the enemy's weaknesses. So, thank you for watching. If you watched, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment something down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Aww, I like this. That's a great quirk.